In this procedure, you will learn how to instruct the patient in collecting a 24-hour urine specimen to test for creatinine clearance. To avoid a possible mix-up of specimens, label the container with the patient's name and the current date. Identify the specimen as a 24-hour urine specimen and include your initials. When you greet the patient, introduce yourself and address the patient by name. Hi, Jennifer. I'm Julie, Dr. Anderson's medical assistant. Hi. Can I get your full name and your date of birth? Sure, Jennifer. Confirm the patient's identity using her name and date of birth. Now, Dr. Anderson wanted me to explain to you how to collect a 24-hour urine specimen. Okay. All right. Then, explain the collection procedure to adult patients and guardians of pediatric patients using the following instructions. So first of all, you're going to have the collection container. So okay. this is going to hold all of the urine that, for the, that 24 hours. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to use this basin to actually collect the urine. So wouldn't it be easier for me to just go to the bathroom in here? Tell her not to urinate directly into the large specimen container because it may have a caustic preservative that could splash out while urinating. You might think that, but there's some preservative in this container that could cause some burning or stinging, so you don't want to do it that way. You'll want to use okay. the, the collection device. Right. Instruct the patient to empty her bladder into the toilet in the morning without saving any of the specimen. She should record the time she first emptied her bladder on the label. For the next 24 hours, each time she empties her bladder, all the urine should be collected into a plastic cup or nun's cap that is placed on the toilet. Then she should pour all the collected urine directly into the specimen container. So this will sit in the toilet and, and you'll use this to collect the urine, but starting tomorrow morning, you're going to urinate like you normally would into the toilet. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to have you write that time on the label on okay. this container. And that'll let us know or let you know when your 24 hours are up. Okay. All right. So then every time after that that you urinate, you're going to use this device. You're going to mm -hmm. urinate in the container, and then you'll take the cap off of here, and then you will be pouring the urine into that container. Okay. All right. Have her put the lid back on the container after each urination and rinse out the plastic cup or nun's cap. She should store the container in the refrigerator or at room temperature, as directed, throughout the 24 hours of the study. The test will be inaccurate if she fails to collect all urine produced over 24 hours. If, at any time, she forgets to collect her specimen, or if some urine is accidentally spilled, the test must be started all over again with a new container and a newly recorded start time. Then the cap needs to go back on this, and you'll need to store this at room temperature. Okay. okay? And then you'll want to rinse this out so it's ready to go the next time. Okay. Now it's important that you collect all of the urine over that 24 hours. Uh, if you don't, then we would have to start the test all over again. Ask her to collect the final urine specimen at the same time the next morning as the first specimen on the previous day was discarded. Collection ends with this voided morning specimen on the second day, which completes the 24-hour period. And so when you're done with the 24-hour test, you need to bring this back to us as soon as you can, and we'll get that sent off to the lab. Okay. All okay, right. That sounds easy enough. Okay, great. As soon as possible, after completing collection, she should return the specimen container to the provider's office or the designated laboratory. Give the patient the specimen container and supplies with written instructions to confirm understanding. Document the details of the patient education intervention in the patient's record. When the patient returns the specimen, ask whether she collected all voided urine throughout the 24-hour period or whether any problems occurred during the collection process. Well, Jennifer, were you able to collect all of the urine? Yes, I was. So you had no problems, no, no issues with it? No, Great. everything went well. Great. Well, then we'll take care of that. You're, you're all set to go then. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Complete the laboratory request form and put on disposable gloves before preparing the specimen for transport. Store the specimen in the refrigerator until it's picked up by the laboratory. Document that the specimen was sent to the laboratory, including the type of test ordered, the date and time, the type of specimen, and your initials.